All right, now we're back with the second part of the database program. Uh, one quick thing about the last part: um, change this from year start year started to years underscore worked. Um, yeah, I think I did it up here. Yeah, I basically yeah I had it right up here. I missed put it down here. It's basically going to store the amount of years that the employee has worked at the company. So yeah, that's. Um, Let's keep that like that. Go on to the implementation of each of the uh, functions. Um, we don't have to do any of these accessors because we did them in line. So we're going to jump into the copy constructor and the regular default constructor. Start off with well, first of all, let's just we need to include IO stream. Because we're going to be doing input output with C out and C in or get line also. And also, we need to pound include the interfa interface file. So, employee.h. So, this gives us access to all of the database or all the employee functions in that class. Also, just for simplicity, because we're going to be doing a lot more, we're just going to do using. namespace standard all right now first we're gonna be doing the uh, default constructor yeah just that one that one right there I like how it, it knows what I want all right, so basically what this is gonna do is just initialize all of the integers to zero um, you don't have to initialize the strings. They're just by default empty. So there's empty char arrays. Um, so let's just do ID underscore number equals zero. Salary equals zero. And year underscore worked equals zero. All right, so now next, we're going to be doing the copy constructor. Doing the same thing as before, so that one. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and just copy and paste all the stuff. That's a lot of stuff there. There we go. Copy and paste. There we go. Good old copy paste. So this is essentially what it's going to do is set all the stuff in the regular one. Name equals new underscore name. It's just basically going to be all of that. Um, all the same stuff for all the other ones. ID number equals new underscore ID. Address equals new address. And so forth, and so forth. I'm just going to finish this up. Salary. New salary. And last one. Years. Underscore worked. Equals year. Underscore worked. All right, so that should be it for this. It's actually years, not year. Don't want to screw that up. That could cause you some problems down the road. Um, next, we're going to be doing the output. Void employee output. O stream at outs. I'm just going to go ahead and just create the next one. It's about the same. Input is an output. I stream is an O stream. And it is ins instead of outs. All right, so let's jump up here into the output. 
Um, so first of all, what we're going to do is basically check to see if OUTS equals, if the stream is equal to CLT, we're going to handle it different from what, from uh, if it's um, CN. So, or no, if it's C, if it's C out instead of like file out or any sort of other file streaming, basically if it's C out, we're going to out basically like a string for each entire one. I'm just gonna copy and paste this. I'll explain it here in a second. I gotta cut some copy and pasting here. There we go. Um, yours underscore works. So yours, yeah. All right. So yeah, that's basically what it's going to do. Um, if it's C out, it's just going to um, just have this little text or name, and then the name, the ID number, ID number, address, address, salary, salary, years worked at company, years worked. So then else, however. Um, if it's file streaming, it's just going to be essentially the same thing, except it's going to not have the simple text. It's just going to be like that. Years worked. Yeah, so it's just going to be the same thing. However, it's just not going to have the text like right here. Um, so that's all you really have to do for the output, um, except for the, now for the input. It's going to be kind of the same thing if INS equals equals CN. Um, it's going to be just the simple input for each different variable, but um, it's going to have the text there. Yep, right there. I'm just going to... I don't know. I guess I'm kind of weird about this. So skip this if you have to. <laughs> I'm just going to be moving all this stuff down because it didn't copy and paste quite right. I guess I'm weird like that. I guess programmers, they like their stuff to be spaced out correctly. Easy to read, easy on the eyes. Um, make it just one tab instead of two. Nothing's, nothing's worse than having code that's hard to read, hard on the eyes. If you have to sift through a whole bunch of it multiple times, it makes it feel kind of weird. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and explain this real quick. Um, this right here is required when using uh, getLine. GetLine, essentially what it does, it gets the entire stream from the input. Um, basically, whenever you type in something in for C, like if you're using CN, um, what it will do is it'll take all the characters that you press up until um, you hit enter. Enter, whenever you press enter on a keyboard, it puts a backslash, a backslash N there. So what CN does, it takes everything except for the C, or except for the backslash N. It leaves the backslash N in the input stream. Um, and whenever you use get line, it uses it takes the entire line including backslash n. So if you use cn, it still has the backslash n. And then if you immediately after it use get line, it's going to um, just accept this and nothing else. So it's, it's going to have an empty space there um, and not even take your input. So we use this line right here. Um, the if it's if the next character in the stream is backslash n, ignore it. So it doesn't it doesn't accidentally take the backslash n. So we use it here before the next get line to clear the stream of any backslash n's, and it basically just has an independent an independent uh, um, input for each different variable. And else, pretty similar to the prior one, just going to be everything like that except the without the text all right I'm just gonna leave it there to hell with the spacing um, all right so that is all that you need for the output and input now for overloading the operators for the overloadings 
o stream at operator if you remember we didn't overload the operators as members of the class um so we do we do not have the uh um employee in a scope resolution right here we just have the regular declaration essentially just exactly the same as what it was in the uh the um prototyping or declaration so we have o stream at outs and employee employee at temp and let's just copy and paste Copy and pasting is a really a, pro a programmer's best friend. It saves a lot of typing time. Because despite popular belief, programmers do not are not all that fond of typing. They realize they have to do it, but if they can limit keystrokes as much as they can, they're going to do that. INS. All right. All right. So these implementations are very easy so basically what we're going to do is temp dot um, output that is all that we have to do really and then outs pass that into the um, function and return outs so what this will do is anytime that um, this operator is called in the main or anywhere else and the next one is an employee type it's going to just call the uh, output function up here. And it's going to do whatever, uh, if it's C out or file out, it's going to do that. Um, so then it's basically the exact same thing here. Temp.input with ins there. I might want to get my semicolon there. There we go. And return ins. So yeah, and this will actually work daisy chained together. So if you would have like C out EMP one, EMP two, and EMP three. Yeah, so it'll work daisy chained together like that. E um you don't have to do them all separately. They can be done like that, which is nice. So yeah, that is actually all of the implementation that is required for the employee class. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the video there. And in the next video, we're going to take up the database um, class. What all is required for that? That is a little more bulky and a little more time consuming. Hopefully I can kind of keep that short. Um, and that's about it.